<laughs> Good morning. This is Rhonda Schaefer with Cooler Talk. Cynthia's not joining us today. She's getting her back fixed. But uh, welcome to all of you. So glad you're here. And today I'm going to talk about procrastination. You don't procrastinate, do you? You know, it's pretty much saying, I'll do it at four, I'll do it at five, I'll do it at six, I'll do it at seven. Next thing you know, the time is on you and you're not ready, or the time has already passed and you go watch a movie or something. So, uh, procrastination, I'm going to share, put my put my screen on share here and I'm going to share a little file with you as soon as I find it. Maybe I won't be sharing. Uh, okay. It's not working. Well, so much for that. It's probably me. So, <laughs> Uh, I did take a few notes on procrastination. I think we all do it. Uh, like I said, it's just putting off and putting off and putting off something that you want to have done or get done. And uh, you just never seem to get around to it. Maybe it's because you don't think you can be perfect at it. Uh, maybe uh, it's not just right or you think you're not ready. Um, when, in fact, jumping in is. Uh, it's probably one of the best things to do because the more you take part, the better you get at it. So um, one of the one of the things uh, I saw a cute meme, uh, Maury Povich meme, and it uh, has him with this woman sitting like shocked, and it says, "You said you were doing your work all day. Your Netflix account." determined that that was a lie. <laughs> so procrastination, I think, is more about lying to ourselves than anybody else. Um, I don't think we always intend to do it, but uh, I've been guilty of it. I get uh, sidetracked on Facebook or, or emails, messages, or just watching a movie. Time flies, and then what I wanted to do doesn't get done. So uh, writing a calendar ha on my calendar has helped. Also, it's helped to do the bigger, harder jobs in first and getting those out of the way instead of starting on the little things first. So once it, it seems like the flow gets easier uh, when I when I and you might be the same way uh, when I take the time to do the hard stuff first get it out of the way, and then my brain thinks, oh, okay, uh, the rest will be easy. And that, so that, uh, that meme was pretty funny, I thought. Uh, it just, I could relate to it. And uh, procrastinating is uh, just some things for you to think about that might cause you to be procrastinating and not be aware of it which you will be now, is, uh, oh, oh gosh, I got to rearrange my workspace. Too many papers. Or um, pre-writing rituals. So I want to get the pen right, the paper right, everything positioned just in the right place. Uh, and uh, waiting for inspiration. Well, I have found that inspiration comes from doing. And... By doing, then whether it's reading, watching a video, it ideas can be prompted or can be inspired. Oh, I understand that. I can write about that. Uh, oh, I need to eat. I need a snack. I need some more coffee. Uh, finding the perfect font. You know, so if I'm going to publish something, I want to make sure it looks just right. Well, um, and then again, rearranging the workspace. Oh, I have to move this. I have to move that. Well, I didn't do that this morning. And it's okay that I have these piles here. I'm, I'm okay with it because uh, my, got, my job is to be here with you. Um, and then uh, 
oh, all of a sudden, well, let's see what's going on on social media. I need a boost. Let me see how many likes there are. Is anybody interested in what I posted? Um, is, is there any feedback, engagement? Uh, and there's always a time for that. Or taking pauses, tea breaks, and my favorite, nap. So uh, again, a more advanced workplace rearrangement. So all types of these things can be distractions to, um, to put off what needs to be done anyway. Uh, so putting off tomorrow what can be done today. So I have a few tips here that might help. I hope uh, you can... There's a plethora of information across the internet about procrastination. And, uh, you know, if you do, not that I want to distract you, set time aside from your, aside from your priorities to do a little research on procrastination, or um, you can follow some of these tips that I found. Um, five ways to stop procrastinating. One of them is uh, think about who you want to be and connect with that person. Um, just, you know, just get into your own space and, hey, do I want to be the kind of person that's always late? Um, so visualize yourself a week or a month from now. And how will you feel if you have accomplished? what you set out to accomplish. You know, I think that's going to feel pretty good. Um, how will you feel if you haven't? And thinking about how you feel will give you a lot of times motivation to get going because don't we all want to feel good? And uh, use the three, two, one method. Uh, countdown from three, three, two, one. Then drop whatever you're doing and start working on the task. Apply this as often as you can over a few weeks. And they say it takes 21 days to develop a new habit. So if you practice doing this, it will become a habit. And um, it'll become more automatic and you'll gain more motivation. Uh, number three, tackle hard tasks first. I mentioned that a little earlier. And uh, some items on your to-do list are more challenging uh, to accomplish than others. Writing is for me, creative writing. Um, it could take me eight hours to, to work on one piece. Uh, but I have a problem with uh, perfectionism, so it takes me a little longer to, to overcome that. Uh, work on those hard tasks first. Then you can relax and work on the items that aren't as difficult without the daunting tasks hanging over your head. I mean, there's a lot to say about the relief feeling in getting something done. Uh, and it's done. It's not hanging over you like a dark cloud. Uh, number four, commit to doing work for a stretch of time. I mean, even on my computer, I can set work time where absolutely no distractions can come in while I'm doing a certain task. And it's been very helpful. And then like every 30 minutes, it reminds me to get up, stretch, just do some stretches, maybe torso twist, 10 of those, and uh, get back to it. Um, so tell yourself you'll work on what you least like to work on for one hour then do it and then stop after that hour whether you're done or not and then repeat until you finish the project so break it down into increments that's a challenge for me too i always want to do it all right at, at once um when taking a little break does uh does clear the head a little bit um then number five, here's one, write a letter to your future self. You'll procrastinate again. You know you will. I will. Uh, so it's important thing to do is to step back 
so you can better yourself and uh, for the future. So when you procrastinate, write a letter reminding yourself how you feel at the moment while you're procrastinating. I mean, if you pay attention, you'll definitely feel it physically. So uh, the next time you think about procrastinating, read that letter to yourself. So those are five ways to stop procrastinating. Uh, connect with the person you want to be is the first one. Uh, the second, use the three, two, one method. Uh, three, tackle hard tasks first. Four, commit to doing work for a stretch of time, say an hour at a time. Break it up. And uh, five, write a letter to your future self to read whenever you're uh, in that procrastination mode. So those are some tips, five ways to help you stop procrastinating. There are plenty more out there if you look for them. So um, good luck with this. Know that uh, time flies pretty fast when procrastinating. And then at the end of the day, well, there went the day. Time was lost. So. Um, that's it for Help at the Cooler today. I'm looking to see if anybody has any questions or input in the chat, uh, but I don't see any at the moment. So I will sign off. Good luck with overcoming procrastination. Sorry about that. Thank you. Have a good day.